Okay, we're looking at the level two 2014 algebra paper, and I'm going to be continuing working out some of the harder problems, merit or excellence. So let's look at um, question 1C right now uh, from this year's exam in algebra. Okay, question 1C reads, uh, here's the equation 3x squared minus nx plus 5 equals 0 has two distinct roots. Find the values of n. Pretty similar to the previous problem that I just did. So um, let's, let's work this one out. Let's check it. All right, let's take a look at this one. First of all, what does is, what is two distinct roots mean? Um, from some previous stuff, we're jumping ahead here, but two, distri two distinct roots means that the discriminant, which is b squared minus 4ac, it means it's going to be positive. So the discriminant is going to be greater than 0. And if we don't remember, um, a, b, and c, a is the coefficient of the uh, x squared term, b is the coefficient of the x term, which will be negative n, and c will be that constant term right there. All right, so uh, we want to find the values of n here. We want to find the values of there, and I, I can substitute everything in here. b is going to be negative n, so that means it's negative n squared minus 4 times the value of a, which is 3, times c, which is 5, and all that has to be bigger than 0. Okay, let's simplify this. Negative n squared is n squared, of course, minus 4 times 3 is 12, times 5 is 60, so we get n squared minus 60 is greater than 0. All right, now it gets interesting because now I have quadratic inequalities, and those aren't always easy. So let's just take this step by step. Let's take the negative 60 and put it on the other side, making it positive. So I've got n squared is bigger than 60. Okay, first of all, uh, of one, one solution is I'm going to be, I can, the opposite of squaring is square rooting. So n is going to be greater than the square root of 60. And the square root of 60 gives me um, 7.746. And I'm just, to kind of understand this, I'm just going to draw a quick number line here. And let's say 7.746 is right here. Um, that means any number bigger than 7.746 squared will be bigger than 60. Okay? But don't forget, we've got, when we square root something, we've got negative sides too. We've got the negative because... Um, Negative 7.746 squared equals 60 as well. However, let's just put negative 7.746 right here. Here's the tricky part. Let me just emphasize this one more. Is anything greater than this, like 8, say 8. Well, 8 squared is greater than 60 because 64 is greater than 60. Okay, we can understand that. Now this side, it's tricky on which way to go, but it's going to be all numbers this side of the number line, say negative 8. All right, well, negative 8 squared uh, gives me, whoops, greater than 60. And 64 is greater than 60 as well. So all the numbers this way are not greater than, they're less than on the number line. All right, so negative 8, negative 8 is less than negative 7.746, not greater than. So our other solution here is going to be that n can be less than negative 7.746 and not greater than. And that is why this one leads to a bit of confusion because our solution, our values of n, are all numbers that are greater than 7.746 or less than negative 7.746. Of course, you can, you, can, you can write it without using any of the decimal notation. You can say n is greater than neg square root of 60 or, or n is less than negative square root of 60, which is represented by my highly accurate number line here. All right, there we go.